Salam alaikum, alaikum salam, alafi. I hope everybody's well. Just making a short clip over here, um, because I was going through the emails and stuff and questions people were asking and things like that. Um, the first question was, what was the altar behind me when we was doing the Obaori Ated um, video? That's Chango's altar and those are certain, and the things you see behind it with the beads and the other thing, there's certain things that's, um, added to him and to reinforce him and certain secrets that I can't say. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep it at that. So that's what it is. It's a Shango altar. Um, another question is, what's the, can gay people, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Don't, I hope I don't offend you guys by saying gay. I don't know what's the, what's the proper way of saying it. But um, ask me um, what traditions can they get initiated into? To these spiritual ones that, that I'm in. I mean, Ocha is perfect. Espiritismo, Sunset, 21 Division. Um, but in Palo, I cannot initiate you. Um, it's, it's just because the, the way the tradition is or the rules that they put up and stuff like that. And this goes from way back then. I have nothing to do with that. I don't, you know, whatever. But yeah, you could definitely be initiated to those other um, traditions and stuff like that. And there's a lot I got uh, gone. I got a nice amount of um, people that I know that are gay that are priests and they're very good priests, especially apiritistas. They forget about it. They bring down their their spirits and stuff like that. They're very good, very good. So it, you know, we all the same. You know, this they shouldn't be like putting a, a barrier and stuff like that. But the only thing is in Palo, I cannot touch you and I cannot initiate you into Palo. And I love everybody. Okay. The other thing is, oh, shaving of the head. Um, when you make ocha, yes, they do shave your head. So for the females, some females, they don't want to get their hair shaving off. In some, um, in some cases, if it's okay with the orisha, what they do is they'll do a, a, a little corona, which is right here. They'll just shave you right here, and then you could just pull your hair back and cover it. Um, me, I would just... If I was a female, I would just get it all cut off and get it done the way traditionally it should be done. But, yes, you do have an option and you could do that in some in most cases. Um, Gmail readings. This is funny. Um, there was people talking about Gmail readings that they know no good, that this and that. And Gmail readings are just as good as having you in front of your face. The only thing is you cannot bring down somebody's guardian or Risha down through a Gmail reading. That's something that has to be done in person. There's a certain ceremony that's done and things like that. And um, through Gmail reading, the, what I learned before um, how to do it years ago was from one of my friends that's into traditional um, Orisha tradi um, worship. And... Um, we ask you for certain information to make sure that that reading is being done correct. So yes, it can be done. You just have people that gossip and they just want to talk to talk because they don't know what the hell they're talking about. And especially if you're not initiated, you shouldn't be commenting on things that actual initiated people are doing because that's a full disrespect not only to the tradition but to, to the priest itself. So yes, Gmail readings are, are perfectly fine if it's done the correct way. And actually, it's even better because you could go back to it and continue reading, and you have it there in your file for good. The only thing is, you cannot bring down your guardian or reach it down through a Gmail reading. Um, there is, I even seen houses in Cuba that will ask for the same information that we asked for to do a Gmail reading and bring down your guardian angel. You see that, but that I, I'm very iffy about that. You know, I don't, I don't go with that. But a regular reading, yes, you can. Um, and it works, it works great, just as good as I have proof of that. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Another thing, guys, when you into an Orisha house, you have you sometimes you have um ladies that well, very rare you see the men do it, but they do it too. But you got some ladies that will just when they go plucking the chickens inside the living room and cutting off, all they do is gossip about this person, that person, blah blah blah. blah. Don't let those gossipers uh, intimidate you or make you not like the tradition because it's not the tradition it's not the tradition's fault it's the people that just like to talk crap you know and what else 
Oh, leaving a battle house correctly. They asked, this guy asked me, what is the proper form for me to leave the house that I'm in? Because it's not, you know, it's not working out for him. Some people would just walk away, which is not the com complete, you know, it's not the correct way to do it. Um, you could, there is ways to do it that you bring certain animals and stuff like that. And you depart of your house in good terms. Like that, the prenda will continue um, protecting you or whatever the case may be. And basically give reconocimiento, giving, letting the prenda know that you choosing to go to another house. Now, some people leave and that's it, which is not completely correct. But sometimes I don't even blame them because these priests now, they are idiots. And if you try to do it the correct way, they go like, oh, no, you're not coming here, you know that. They just, um, some, some people just act retarded. I, I don't even know another word to go around it. And for those of you that are not initiated, talking about initiated people and how they do their work and whatever, being nosy, I mean, you have no say, you don't hold no weight at all. You shouldn't do that. You got to study, you got to learn before you start talking. Um, that's basically it. And guys, any other questions you have, let me know. And always stay faithful to your tradition, regardless of what anybody says. That these, the Orishas are there for you, the Bungos are there for you, the Egun ancestors are there for you. Look at it, um, last week I was in a situation um, that could end up turning um, into a big legal issue, but not nothing to do with um, the religion or anything like that. It's just, you know, a contract stuff. Um, and I went to El Egua and I talked to El Egua. I was, was kind of, uh, they kind of stressed out or whatnot. And El Egua, once I went to see the lawyer or whatever, everything was just, it just went like, I didn't even have to go to the next step. So that's that's just part of proof that I'm telling you that these deities are there for you when you're doing the correct thing. And always believe in yourself and in the Orishas. It has to be, begin with yourself. And that's it. Just keep going on. Any questions you have, just let me know. Salam alaikum, alaikum salam. I love you all. Achieve.